Second, we all have learned of the uh, decision of George Miller not to run for Congress. And for you students, the sequence of events that occurs when a congressman, a long-standing congressman does not uh, r run again, is that there's a complete change in the structure in terms of people who want to run other office holders. And it often comes all the way down and affects the city council because if a state senator goes for this position and his, he is open. If the assembly goes for the state senator, then that position is open. And if uh, uh, you know, a district attorney or a city council or whatever, it op opens up a whole series of chain of events. And this has caused me to look up again at how our procedure is when we have a vacancy on the council. Currently, the council itself decides either we have uh, a choice by ourselves or we have a very expensive runoff, a special election. There could be other alternatives such as timing of the election versus the vacancy and having the runner up and it, or automatically in an election come. This is something that I will be exploring and again I will be coming back to the council in a future time in regard to a recommendation or what the issues are backwards and forwards for uh, it to go to the policy committee and I will be asking questions about the runner-up policy and how we fill the vacancy especially in that very short period uh, between an election and the vacancy suddenly coming up so for example we had a district attorney who was a sitting member of this council he got elected and then we had to fill the seat this procedure is something that is politics in action and is something that we all have to do to look at what our procedures are. And those are the three things that I have on my list. Thank you.